The mural project came from an initiative um, that our team had started uh, probably like middle of last year, um, working in the Vine Street shops there. Our team identified key issues um, with disorder and alcohol and tagging in this particular shop area. And um, after doing surveys it had come about that lots of parents wouldn't send their children to the shops or people wouldn't go to the shops. Um, because of all that kind of anti-social behaviour. So on speaking with um, the Beautification Trust with Barbara Carney, um, they've done, they had done a lot of work prior with um, the Otara neighbourhood policing team and done murals um, on Everett Road shops and Ferguson Road shops and targeting this, uh, similar, similar issues. So um, the decision was made to um, work with Sutton Park School since that was in that area and then um, we started, a, they had a colouring and competition and then we, out of the colouring and competition we just put it to them about you know making your, your community safe and feeling safe and taking ownership and, and pride in your area. And then from that we um, picked, we were supposed to pick the top two but we couldn't narrow it down. So I think we narrowed it down to like the top six um, best um, art pictures that come out of that and then um, Barbara Carney from Beautification Trust put us um, through to an artist in media that she was working with and then um, there was just that collaboration between the Beautification Trust, um, our police team and the school um, and through that there were, um, we had um, an anti-tagging lecture so educating the children on um, tagging which is good because that, that's working with um, the police initiative with um, the push on that and then um, it just grew from there. Uh, um, the murals and then the launch of the murals and then the celebration in the park and just all about you know the kids' success and, and what they had achieved. So ultimately our aim was building partnerships in the community. So built that with the shops, um, other agencies, corrections, beautification trust, um, the school <coughs> and um, that whole buy-in from the community and being guardians for that area so hopefully we can conti continue. I think the, the kids learn a lot of skills from this process. Um, the main one for myself as a police officer is um, seeing police in a different light mm -hmm. and working alongside police. I don't think a lot of them had been exposed to that kind of thing. You know, a lot of them probably had bad dealings with family members and out with the police. So that was really important for us to get into the schools. So I think the kids um, really benefited from that. Uh, also the education side of the whole project, so it wasn't just about um, putting a picture on the wall, there was more behind it, so the educating on the tagging, um, educating on that kind of antisocial behaviour that does go on and you know, trying to explain to them that it's not right and they don't have to put up with that and um, by doing this we can achieve. I like the police because um, they're good supporters of us and um, they're um, they helped us a lot with cleaning up the rice shops. My favourite part was doing the sun, because it um, represents our streets in a very friendly manner. Barbara and her team was um was a um she has a cool job because she makes um the communities um look more cooler. Um, one of the things I like about my art group is they're really creative and and I learn stuff from them and they learn stuff from me so um, yeah. I thank Meet for teaching us new techniques for drawing and I thank um, Miss K for doing the same thing too and I thank my best friend Hems for helping me doing my um, painting and I thank, uh, and I thank um, Miss Kavanaugh for help, um, for giving us this opportunity.